Hello my fellow humans and welcome back to another daily dice where we ask the dice for message and find out what that is. Keeping in mind that these are general readings so please take what resonates and leave what does not knowing that as you interact with the channel by liking, commenting, and subscribing below it does allow me an opportunity to directly connect with your energy and get you out more resonant readings. Also, if you are interested in supporting the channel further, you'll find all those links below in the box, in the description box, in the box, in the box, in the description box necessary to do so. You can email me for a personal reading and I'll get you out further information from there. You can also follow me on over to my podcast where we talk about certain issues. I discuss my own experience and the healing that I've gone through and certain issues that do come up even on the readings here further in depth okay also memberships are now live if you're wondering more about those if you click the join button down below where the subscribe button is or used to be it will show you the levels i have available as well as the options that come with each level so we're talking about customized emojis customized badges early access shout outs custom community posts and also on one of the options there's the ability to have readings that are not available to the general public on this youtube community so i do hope to see you over there and that you find something that suits your needs i do want to say a shout out to all of my followers subscribers viewers and those of you that have been here with me for this this time i'm just so blessed and honored to have you all here if you continue to show up and support the channel it means so much to me that you are a part of this absolutely amazing and wonderful tribe and for those of you that are new here welcome this is a reminder that we are all human here having this human experience and that this is a safe space for you to come as your highest most aligned authentic self so with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it and find out what is today's daily dice message. So first, what is today's daily dice message? What would you like us to know? What messages do you have for us? What is today's daily dice message, Source? What would you like us to know? Okay, so we've got the first house, Leo, and Mercury energy coming out. So there's definitely something that's happening with the way that you see life. There's like some change that has been an identifying part of yourself that's coming through. It's like you're now seeing a deeper truth of your own journey, something that maybe before you weren't ready to see something that you weren't ready to own, something that you weren't ready to embrace, or it's just you didn't have access to that information until recent. And so it's coming through, but it is also showing you how to really embody being this leader and to embody being someone who shows up in a place of joy, with a lot of spirit, with a lot of charisma, with a lot of life and vitality. And you're actually being able to communicate that to others in a very savvy way. <laughs> like they're really understanding it. They're really seeing it. And there is some gossip coming in here. For some reason, I wanted to plug my ears. <laughs> oh, that was so random. Like I feel like a kid when they go and they plug their ears and they're like, nah, nah, boo, boo. <laughs> Like, so I feel like you're in this place of just like, nope, I'm not going to hear it. Like, I don't care if people are gossiping about me. Like, I'm not here to tell you what that is or anything like that. I just feel like that's the energy that you're in. You're like, cool, go ahead, gossip. Keep telling, keep telling people what you want to tell them. Because as far as I'm concerned, it's all true. Because one day people will realize the reality of the situation, right? And that's just true with anybody that gossips. Like, it's just, you keep gossiping and then one day people are going to realize you just be over there putting stories and people said, thinking that it's the truth when it's not. So, <laughs> and I feel like that's part two with that Leo energy. Like, that's part of your inner child coming out too. It's like, I'm just living my best life. I'm enjoying everything. And if I'm living my best life and enjoying everything, why do I have to be brought down to someone else's level who just doesn't even know how to heal themselves or live, live their best life too? So there's definitely something here that you're just letting go of. It feels like it's like you're like, nope, I'm not going to hold that anymore. Like felt like it was a part of me. So it could actually have to do with gossip and drama and that because Leo energy can be drama. You know, and so it could have to do with that. Maybe you've been always wondering, like, what's the drama? What's the gossip? What's going on? And now you're just kind of like in this energy of like, nope, 
Like, I just don't care. I know it's there. It's always going to be there, but I don't care. And because of that, like, you letting it go is bringing you into a much higher vibration. It's bringing you into a much better uh, energetic vibe. I feel like it's definitely affecting people around you as well. And if the people around you are ones that are gossiping, it is affecting them too because now they're seeing that they're no longer having a an impact on your day-to-day -day routine, right? Yeah, so we have co-create with spirit. Yes! Yes! I love that this came out for you. I love that because you are co-creating with Source. Like, Source is like, I got you. Like, we're making, we're making magic happen every day. You're showing up, doing what you need to do, and we're making magic. Do you believe in magic in a young girl's heart? Right? Because <laughs> we believe in magic. We do. Whether other people do or don't. Yeah. See, moving from fear into abundance. It's like I'm no longer going to live in this fear. I have enough where I am. And there's like, this is like a spiritual glow up is what this is. This is what's peaking. Yeah, connection. There's connection that you're letting go of. You're realizing that you're very protected and that you're ready to change. I can't make this up. I cannot make this stuff up. It's like a huge change. What else is peaking here? The soul with butterfly. Yep, coming closer to your soul. So you're letting go of this thing that's been holding you down with this tarantula energy here, connection. You're not... You're not playing into their games. Maybe before they knew they could say things to get you to, to respond a certain way, and you would. And now you're like, I just don't have the time for it. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> right? Like, that's just it. Bye, Felicia. Celebrate. Yeah. Celebrate good times. Come on. <laughs> I love this reading. I love it. She's over here dancing. You know what? You got a one party crew going on and who cares? You're living your best life, living the good life, right? Like get with it. That's awesome. I'm so happy for you. I love this reading. This is amazing. It's such good vibes too. Like it is such good vibes. Like you know, sometimes they're heavy, and then I get these ones that come in, and I'm just like, oh, I just, I wish I could connect with you all the time, and that's no, no shame against those of you that I connect with that have difficult lives. You can understand why, right? Like, this is my gift, though. This is the gift that Source brings through me, is to be able to connect with everybody and where they're at. And so, of course, I'm partial to the higher vibe ones, but I do absolutely appreciate the ones where it's hard and heavy, because... I too have been through situations like that and I know that they're very healing and so it's just cool because this is a fun this is a fun one. Ooh, you could be a Pisces. A Pisces intimacy, intuition and compassion. Yeah, you're ready. You're ready for whatever's coming. Let's get some panthas. Get some bantha on it. Hey bantha. Look, slow and steady wins the race. 62 turtle spirit. Yeah, just going with the flow. Going with the flow. No need to rush anything right now. You're doing exactly what you need to do. Look, we have kindness. I love this with fruit bat and flying fox. Like honoring the dark parts of yourself, the shadow side, right? Absolutely. Like I said, it feels like this is something you weren't ready to embrace. It feels like this is something that you were like, no, whatever. Like, you know, like forgiveness is the thing that they're showing me right now. So it's like maybe you didn't want to forgive somebody because you felt like whatever, I don't have the space or the time to forgive them. They need to own their stuff. They need to get with themselves, you know, whatever it is. And it's like now you're like, well, hold on. Like I'm holding all this resentment. And I didn't realize it was resentment. I just thought that I was trying to hold them accountable for their own actions. And in reality, you're realizing that, you know, hold up. I need to own this part of myself. The other thing is like the gossip. Maybe it's like you really hurt by people saying things about you. And now you're owning that that just doesn't even affect your journey if you don't let it. Yeah, you're only seeing 10% of what's going on. 
So again, like this coming out when we were talking about forgiveness here, right? It's like you have this energy. You're only seeing 10%. So it's like even if somebody hurts you, you're only seeing a portion as to why it is that they hurt you, even if you are seeing a why there. Because usually the why is what's completely submerged under the water. Oh, we have Taurus energy. We have trust, patience, and sensuality. Awesome. So you could have Mercury in Pisces. You could have it in Taurus. You could have the first house in Pisces, Taurus, or Leo. These are very specific. You could also have the eighth house in Leo. Yeah, that's that's coming through. Okay. Cool. Let's get some Pantha on it and see. What other messages would you like to have on this reading source? Thank you. What else would you like to say on this reading source? What other messages do you have here? Thank you. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. I really do feel like it has to do... Ooh, okay, we had bully. I was going to say it really has to do with someone else and the way they're showing up. We had bully flip over. I don't know if you can see it down there in the corner. Yeah. All right. Yep, thank you. Really does have to do with someone. Look, we have imagination here. Variety, fantasy, and mind. Your imagination is opening up. Like, you're going to be inspired for something soon, and I feel like it's going to take away all your worries and cares, and, like, you're going to be just... Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that this is coming up. Like, that's what it feels like, right? So we did have mask and stress come out together here. So we have de deception, pretending, and inconsistency, headache, pressure, and lack of sleep. So it does feel like this is what was happening before is you were stressing because somebody was being a bully with embarrassment, gossip, and unwillingness. So we did have the gossip energy in the beginning, like just coming out again and clarifying that's for some that is absolutely the energy here and we had loss bereavement sorrow and damage so this is something you felt like you had lost like it's like oh these people are gossiping about me i lost somebody i lost you know friends i lost family i lost myself maybe and it's like this energy of feeling like something's wrong being damaged by it there must be something wrong with me if all they're doing is gossiping about me feeling poor, castaway, and failure, like feeling like you didn't do something that was right, feeling like, you know, maybe this is someone that you live with, maybe this is someone that, that has made you feel that way, or someone that's kicked you out. It's definitely something that you're fearful of here or had been no longer. I don't feel like you are any anymore, but it's something that's brought up a lot of depression for you. Something that's been very much like a paranoia feeling like, oh my gosh, like what's going to happen next? But the strategy here, there's been a lot of predi planning, prediction and mind reading. It's like you knew what was coming. You knew what was coming and because of that, you were able to create a clear strategy here. And part of that's with your imagination. And Live and Learn wanted to come out too here. We have experience, training, and development. Yeah, so I definitely feel like there's some kind of strategy here. Like you're growing out of this situation into a stronger version of yourself, which is very profound here, right? I absolutely love this for you. Uh, if you feel like this is your reading, leave a little turtle emoji down below and say, I allow myself to experience the journey while slowly moving towards my dreams. Leave me a thumbs up. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there and get on out of here. I do want to take a quick second, though, to thank your guide, your spirit messengers, your angel source, and my guides for coming together to give us this incredible message. And until next time, stay human. Bye.